Hi, I'm Don Grace with Safe Water Alliance, here to introduce to you our latest control valve. Let's identify some of the features that make this an important valve to your customers. Our proprietary cover with proprietary electronics. It's universal, meaning that it can be used either as a softener or a backwashing filter. It's made here in the USA with NSF certified materials, has adjustable proportional brining for higher efficiencies, salt level monitoring with an alarm, programmable service alerts, displays your service phone number and your company name, and it has the ability to control a second control valve when an additional filter like carbon or berm is required to treat their water. Beginning with the programming settings, you'll notice when you first plug the valve in, salt remaining unknown will be on the screen. One of the valve's unique features is the ability to keep track of salt usage while being used as a softener. This does require the homeowner to enter a salt value every time they add salt. Setting the salt level is very easy. First add the salt to the brine tank. Once you've added your bags of salt, look on the side of the brine tank for your salt level number. This is the value that you'll enter. While on the salt remaining screen, press set to enter the edit mode. Using your up and down arrows, enter the salt level value from the side of the brine tank. With the salt level set, press next to set up the reminder alarm. The reminder alarm will help keep the homeowner from running out of salt through an audible alarm of which the start time and off time may be set. Setting the alarm time is as easy as making the adjustments using the up and down arrows, pressing the next to exit. Programming the rest of the valve is just as simple. You are going to use the same sequence of buttons, press the next button to scroll through the valve screens until you find the correct screen and the set button to initiate the edit mode just as we did to set the salt level. For example, say we needed to set the time of day. Press the next button until you are on the time of day screen. Press the set to enter the edit mode. Now with the hour flashing, use the up or down arrows to edit the hour, keeping in mind this is a 12 hour clock, so you will need to go past 12 to make changes from AM to PM. Pressing next will change to the minutes. Again using the up or down arrows to make your adjustments. At this point you have corrected the time of day. Pressing next again will allow you to review or edit the regeneration time beginning with the hour. The default time is 2 a.m. and if you need to make changes use your up or down arrows to adjust the hour. This is also a 12 hour clock so you would need to go past 12 to change from a.m. to p.m. Pressing next will allow you to edit the minutes. While in the edit mode, you can go back and review your settings by pressing the regen button. Each time you do, it will display the previous screen, or you can simply press the next button to exit. This is basically the same sequence of buttons required to make any adjustments of the settings on the new valve. But knowing where the submenus are are the biggest keys to making these adjustments. Aside from the current time settings, you're going to need to adjust the important details like setting up the valve, like valve type, set as a softener or filter, hardness, resin volume, backwash length, draw time, second backwash, and final rinse. But this is also where you'll find some of the advanced features this valve has to offer, like iron compensation, days override, TDS compensation, a TDS reading of 801 or higher is to be set as high, regenerant type, salt or potassium, resin type, the XR1000 is our standard 8% resin or the XR3000 for the Dow 10% Marathon C settings, and the capacity used at regen, 30% setting will regenerate with less salt more often while a 70% will use more salt but less water. To make changes to any of these settings, you would press next until you reach the capacity remaining screen. Press set to enter the edit mode. Using the next button to advance to the setting you want to change. Make your adjustments using the up and down arrows, just like we did while setting the clock. Like before, you were able to go back through your settings using the Regen button to see the previous screen. 
We've already walked through one of the alarm settings with the salt reminder alarm. However, we're also able to set service reminders based on the amount of time the valve has been in service or the amount of gallons that have passed through the system while in service. To set the service alarm, press next until you're at the screen that says on vacation. Press the set button to enter the edit mode just like we did to set the clock. Step through your settings using the next button while making the adjustments using the up or down arrow. Another feature is the ability to display your company name and phone number. To do so, you'll need to press next to the on vacation screen and press set to enter the edit mode. Press the next button advancing to the alarm buzzer. While on the alarm buzzer, press and hold the up and set button together for three to five seconds. This will bring up your name here screen where you may enter your phone number and your company name. The phone number can be programmed by pressing the up or down button until you've displayed the first digit of your area code. Press next to go to the next digit, make your corrections, and continue until you have entered the complete phone number. Entering the company name is just as easy. One character at a time, starting with the first letter of your business. Once you have finished, press next to exit out to the main screen. If you have any questions, please call us at 855-999-7233. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.